Ay. Banded heel the butt high knee. So what we're gonna do here is a really simple drill working top speed sprint mechanics. We don't need a lot of space. We will be utilizing a yellow super band. Uh, this is the tension I like to use, but you can use other tensions. And then just something to wrap it around and fix it to. We also have a drill that's without the band. We do on the field turf and it's working heel the butt high knee and working our posture over. But this is kind of a in a fixed position, something simple that we can work on that I like to work with a lot of my athletes. So this drill is really working on, yes, posture and position, but mainly the recovery leg up. So we're trying to, as we get this, we're trying to get our calf to our hamstring, and we're trying to do a high knee with our proper lean, but take our heel to butt or our calf to hamstring. Really understanding that as we run and we land and we go over the top, we have an option with this recovery leg, which we've kind of talked about in some other videos. If that recovery leg goes back into the air, there's nothing back there. If I land too far in front, I'm gonna spend longer on ground. So when I hit that sweet spot, my body goes over the top, and now my recovery leg, I'm trying to go up and drive, drive my knee as fast as I can, and what that's gonna cause is my calf to go to my hamstring or that heel to go to my butt, but it's not gonna be here like this, it's gonna be as I'm driving up. So I'm not really trying to do it, but it is, it's a, a reaction of what we're trying to do, which is really drive the knee up. And so that's why we work this drill. We have to have mobility. We have to have mobility in our, our quad, our hips, and our hamstring, and the strength to be able to do that. So that's when we talk about, we do some of those hamstring drills where we're working on the concentric movement, and that's from here, shortening our hamstring, because yes, we have to work on lengthening and that extension as we sprint, but I really wanna work fast through that so we get the drive and not the swing. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get in this yellow band, And as I take that over my head, I'm gonna come out to here and I'm gonna get some tension on it. And then I'm gonna work, this is gonna help me find a good proper lean, good positioning. So neutral head, belly button's through, I'm flat in front, I'm over the top, so I got a great lean here. And it's a, you see, you can even pull me back. And then as I get that, I'm just gonna run. So I'm gonna work on high knees, I'm gonna work on that recovery leg, and I'm gonna work on whipping my arms. So my band, the band is gonna give me resistance where I'm not moving forward, but if I lean back or I lose my posture, it's gonna tell me I'm wrong. So as I go, I'll just kind of go 50%, as I stay over the top, I'm really working on that knee drive, coming up, getting that calf to hamstring. So really simple, what I'll do a lot of times with my athletes is while we're working sprints, we'll do this off to the side, working that recovery leg. So as we let go of the band and we start maybe a heel to butt high knee into a build up sprint, we get this and we get to work mechanics all the way through the drill and we work that recovery leg that then gets us in the position. If our recovery leg gets here, we got that knee drive, now we get to pick and choose how and where we wanna land, we get more force into the ground, we're not gonna have braking force and we're gonna propel ourselves by pushing backwards and pushing us forward. So really working that drill, that good posture and getting that calf to hamstring, okay? Staying tall over the top, whipping the arms through. So love this drill. Pretty simple, all you need is some space, band, and something to tie it to. And then when we work this, like I said before, we don't. We can work away from the band and work our buildups where we start to take our mechanics into our top speed sprinting. So keep working this drill when you're trying to work and understand more of that recovery leg because that's gonna set you up for success. A faster recovery leg is gonna lead to more force, more power, and a faster you.